This video is not intended to be used for diagnosis of any medical condition. Patients seeking diagnosis should consult a physician. It is important for you to carefully read the owner's manual before operating. Invacare brings you a whole new world of respiratory therapy for people on the go who crave the freedom, simplicity, and independence that the new Invacare XPO2 portable concentrator provides. The XPO2 delivers oxygen in measured doses that match the amount you need, conserving precious oxygen and allowing for a lighter, completely portable system in a size so small that you can carry it over your shoulder like a purse or video camera bag. Imagine, no more lugging and tugging cumbersome equipment. No more waiting days for delivery. No more storing oxygen tanks in your closet or car. This video shows you how to operate and use your new XPO2 portable concentrator. Please note that this video is not a replacement for your owner's manual or home care provider instructions. When you receive the XPO2, carefully remove all the contents of the box. The box should include the following items. An operator's manual, the concentrator, a carrying case, a DC power adapter, and an AC power adapter. If you purchase model XPO100B, you will also have a supplemental battery and its carrying case. Optional accessories include a rolling cart and an accessories bag. Now familiarize yourself with the features and controls on the XPO2. The on-off button. The oxygen outlet port. The battery status button. The battery gauge the flow setting pulse indicators, flow selection buttons to decrease the flow rate and increase the flow rate, the alarm indicator, the air intake, the air exhaust grid, and the supplemental battery pack. The Invacare XPO2 portable concentrator provides you with several power source options. An AC power adapter connects to the unit and an AC power source, such as a wall outlet. A DC power adapter connects to the unit and a DC power source, such as your car. An internal battery automatically recharges when using an AC or DC power source to run the unit. The concentrator will have a minimal charge when it arrives. Please charge completely before operating. Remember to read the owner's manual for more details and never use an extension cord. Use the gauge with the unit turned on to check the charge level. In addition, a supplemental battery pack can be attached to the XPO2 carrying case and connected to the power input connector of the unit. Use the gauge on the battery pack to check the charge level. To recharge, connect one end of the AC or DC power adapter to the supplemental battery pack and the other end to the AC or DC power source. At this time, if you connect the battery pack to the XPO2, the internal battery pack will also be recharged. Each battery takes about three hours to recharge. To maintain maximum charge level on the batteries, use the AC power adapters whenever possible. When in the car, use the DC power supply. Remember to read the owner's manual for important safety details before using the XPO2 in a car. When using your new XPO2 portable oxygen concentrator, make sure the unit is positioned in a well-ventilated space so that the air intake and air exhausts are not obstructed. Keep at least three inches away from walls, draperies, furniture, or other objects. Use only the carrying case provided with the XPO2. Now, connect the nasal cannula to the oxygen outlet port. Turn the unit on by pressing and holding the on-off button for about one second. A brief alarm will sound. The pulse flow setting at startup is the same as it was when you last turned the unit off. It takes the unit about five minutes to reach maximum oxygen concentration. The XPO2 has five pulse flow settings. Press the minus or plus button until your prescribed setting is illuminated by a blue indicator light. 
Position the cannula as instructed by your provider, then breathe normally through your nose. The unit puts out a measured pulse of oxygen with every inhalation. The flow indicator light will blink each time a pulse of oxygen is provided. To turn the XPO2 off, press and hold the on-off button for about two seconds. Invacare also offers convenient accessories for the XPO2 portable oxygen concentrator. The rolling cart allows you to pull the unit behind you in the event you do not wish to carry it. Just attach the concentrator in its carrying case to the cart. The accessories bag provides easy storage for items that come with the XPO2. Lighter and smaller than many purses, the XPO2 portable oxygen concentrator finally gives you the freedom to do the things you love with the people you love. Participate in the activities you want to, unencumbered by bulky oxygen units that limit your movement and the time you can spend away from home. Getting around with the XPO2 is easier than you ever dreamed. Go ahead. Now you can make your dreams come true. The XPO2 portable oxygen concentrator has been programmed with indicators, warnings, and alarms to ensure that the unit is running and being operated properly. See the owner's manual for a complete list of indicators and troubleshooting guide. For your safety, a no breath detect alarm will sound if the XPO2 does not sense a breath for one minute. If this occurs, check the cannula connection and ensure you are breathing through your nose. Once the unit detects a breath, the alarm will stop. There are three levels of low battery alarm to ensure that you are aware of a low battery charge. Low battery warning. When the XPO2's battery charge drops to 25%, a beep will sound. The green 25% battery gauge indicator will blink intermittently. Low battery alarm. When the battery charge drops to 15%, a double beep will sound. The green 25% battery gauge indicator will blink rapidly. Battery discharge alarm. When the battery charge drops to a minimum, a triple beep will sound and the green 25% battery gauge indicator will blink very rapidly. The unit will then shut down unless it is switched to another battery or AC or DC power. Oxygen safety should always be observed when using an oxygen system such as the XPO2. Keep away from open flames, smoking, and oils. Your home care provider can recommend an alternate source of oxygen for use in the event of a power outage, alarm condition, or mechanical failure. Do not use extension cords, humidifiers, or devices such as CPAP or bi-level with the XPO2. Never disassemble the product. To clean the XPO2, first turn off the power and unplug the power cord. Remove the XPO2 from the carrying case, then wipe the case with a damp cloth. Let the case dry before use. Use a damp cloth or sponge with mild detergent and gently clean the unit. Let it dry and return it to the case. To clean the air intake filter, lift the filter cover slightly and pull down to remove it. Lift out the filter. Wash with mild dish detergent and water. Rinse thoroughly and let dry. Reinstall the filter cover by placing the tabs in the slots and engaging the magnet. We hope this video has helped you gain a better understanding of the Invacare XPO2 Portable Oxygen Concentrator. If you have any further questions, check your owner's manual or call your oxygen provider. The Invacare XPO2 will provide you with the options you need to care for your respiratory health.